Well, hello, it's Randy T Bird, Phoenix, Arizona, February 2020. Just out for a ride today. I have another day off of a kind of a fulfilling a promise I made to myself of taking my vacation time instead of letting the company keep it. So I had a couple days off. Yeah, just uh, out for a ride. I had to wait, wait for rush hour to be over and so I can get out and get away from the city a little bit. Go for a ride. Yeah, it's seeing some uh, new models from Harley Davidson out in the last couple weeks. The most recent one was the uh, Soft Tail Standard. And uh, there's kind of a mixed response from people. Um, saying it's nothing more than a street bob with uh, the, with polished instead of blacked out and chrome instead of blacked out. Um, I don't know why anybody's surprised that Harley builds part spin bikes for new models. They, they move parts around and create different things with them. I like blacked out bikes myself, uh, but not everybody does and I think people uh, are looking for something maybe that wasn't blacked out and Harley's kind of gone that way. Um, you know the 107 Heritage for 2020 they make a chrome one uh, rather than the blacked out model. Again I like the blacked out but you know people do like chrome it's kind of a long-standing thing with bikers is uh, lots of chrome. Anyway the price point on this new soft tail standard 13.5 uh, pretty good price for an entry-level Harley with a uh, Milwaukee 8, 6-speed transmission, cartridge forks, monoshock. You know, I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good starting point for a lot of people who uh, would normally go with a Sportster. And again, nothing wrong with Sportsters. Had a lot of them myself. But for two grand more, you can get that. And and I think it's a great, a great offering by Harley and. Uh, looking at a lot of the the comments people are making of course the trolls are out there you know and you know who you are they would complain about anything uh, what I don't understand is why people will get on a page about a Harley and then run Harley down you know you know it looks like a Honda I'd rather have a Honda well then buy a freaking Honda you know just if you don't care don't bother commenting you know I, I don't know why you've got this uh, Got this. Seems some people seem to have a mission to dog on Harley. Well, if you don't like them, don't buy one, don't ride them. You know, I I don't want a Goldwing. I appreciate them for what they are, but I don't go on Goldwing pages and troll them. So anyway, this bike's kind of cool. I think there's going to be a, a good market for it. I really like. Uh, it's just it's it's the same but different, and the pipes are a little different. It's a lot similar to the Slim. Uh, one thing I do agree with people's comments is, is it should have had a Fat Bob tank. And uh, that three and a half gallon tank is, well, uh, I suppose it's chopperish. You know, I had super glides back in the day with the three and a half gallon uh, tank that they had on those. And uh, one of the first things we did is to change them over to Fat Bobs. But, you know, I wish Harley a lot of success with this model. I mean, that and the. Uh, Electric Glide Standard has given people an end to things uh, that normally they couldn't afford, you know, so, you know, $13,500, you can't buy much for $13,500 anymore, you can buy a Kia or a Hyundai, you know, or, or like my son bought a little uh, Chevy Spark, which is about uh, 12000 bucks. it's a, a little small car, gets good gas mileage, but that's what you get for that kind of money, so you're getting a classy motorcycle. And, uh, all right, and Harley Davis does not pay me anything for this. I just like Harley's. Anyway, another subject, just out for a ride today. I'm going to be getting my uh, first service done here pretty soon. I've kind of shopped around and found better prices for it than, uh, there's, there's literally $125 difference between different dealers for the first service. And... This will likely be the last new motorcycle that I buy in my lifetime because I'm not I'm not a young man and uh, I need this to last and uh, so I'm gonna splurge and spend the money 
and uh, get it done. I, I normally do it myself, but uh, uh, I just uh, I just want to get it, get it done this time. So that's tomorrow. So I'll spend my day hanging around the Harley shop waiting for it to be done. Another beautiful day out here in Arizona, late February. A little cool this morning, but it's supposed to be 77 by the end of the day. 80 tomorrow, looking forward to that. Uh, and I got basically a four day weekend here going, and so uh, got some family stuff to do Saturday, but uh, Sunday, Sunday I'll be back out on the, on the highway again. I think I'm probably gonna go out to New River, Arizona. I haven't been out there for a while. I used to go out there all the time when I lived on the west side. And uh, it's kind of a little uh, roadhouse, uh, restaurant, bar out there. I've been going out there for <laughs> most of my life. And uh, I just like that area. Uh, Got to get out early so the traffic isn't crazy. Uh, traffic in Arizona, all the snowbirds are here. If you don't know what a snowbird is, that's people from the cold country. They come here and clog up our streets in the uh, winter months. And as soon as you get 100 degrees, they are out of here like uh, like they're on fire, literally. But I'm gonna do that. That's my plans for the weekend. Uh, the weather is gonna start getting just tremendously good around here. The highs are gonna be in the high 70s and the 80s. And uh, this this is the, the season that we live for out here. So Arizona Bike Week coming up. I'm not crazy on all of the the stuff out in Scottsdale, um, you know. I suppose if you're into that, that's cool. I just uh, don't particularly care for the crowds. Uh, if I want to go for a ride, I'll go for a ride. I don't need 60 other people, or 600 other people on the on the way. But it, it's kind of cool to see all the bikes and and uh, the vendor stuff. I'm not really into big wheel baggers, so none of that stuff. None of that stuff impresses me, but uh, yeah, to those who are, you know, enjoy. There are some rides that go around. I, I, I tend to just go on my own and uh, avoid the, the crush. And, uh, I'm kind of a, I'm not really a loner. I'm just, uh, I just like to do things at my own pace. And, and I get a little impatient when there's a bunch of people you got to wait for or you got to ride a certain route or whatever. If I decide I just want to do something different, that's what I'm going to do. So, anyway. Nice blue sky today, a little wispy clouds, the winter pattern out here. You know, if you can call it winter. Uh, a little cool in the mornings, you know. But it's been it's been pretty nice. Uh, we had uh, rain last weekend. I didn't do a, a vlog last weekend. I was going to do a little bit about the do a, an update on the bike and the things that I've been doing to it. But I just didn't get to that. I just kind of kind of to be honest, I just kind of stayed in the house and uh, did things there. And, you know, and then back to work. So, but it was only three day work week for me. Life is good. I hit kind of a milestone this week, uh, a milestone for me, and some of you may laugh when I say this, I hit 60 subscribers. Now that may not sound like a, a big deal, but nobody knew who I was uh, six months ago, and I got my GoPro and decided I was going to give this a shot, and uh, I've literally picked up 17 subscribers in the last two weeks, and uh, to all of you that have, that's awesome, I appreciate that, and I'll try to, uh, try to keep you keep you uh, informed about Arizona and uh, and share my uh, my thoughts and feelings about things and uh, feel free to comment you know if I say something you don't like yeah, tell me about it you know don't yell at me but tell me about it you know I'll try to avoid I'm trying to avoid a major amount of controversy here I do have opinions on things but I keep them mostly to myself uh, obviously from earlier in this this vlog, uh, I do hate internet trolls, so I try not to be one ever, you know, I just, you know, I've got to the thing is I see the junk that they're putting out there and I just block them. That way I don't have to see it again next time, so, anyway, this is Randy T-Bird, uh, you like what you're seeing, you like listening to my, uh, 
my ra my ramblings here and looking at looking at the eyes through my uh, camera, looking at the world through my eyes of my camera. You know, subscribe. And uh, to those of you that have, hey, right on. Thank you, people. This is Randy T-Bird signing off.